our primary focus up to this point has been on the Bronze Age to look at uh, what happened during the Bronze Age in terms of uh, population migrations. And uh, to study this, we are using uh, ancient genomic methods. So that means we are extracting DNA from the teeth of the individuals um, from these different time periods and different cultures. The way this is done is by uh, uh, cutting the root of the teeth tooth off and then extracting the DNA and sequencing bi millions to billions of sequences of these uh, very short and degraded pieces of DNA that we then have to assemble in order to study the genomes of these individuals. Uh, this research field is really very interdisciplinary. It's merging uh, disciplines from archaeology to anthropology to uh, bioinformatics, molecular biology and even linguistics. Up until uh, this point what we have seen is that uh, these populations of uh, Yamna, maybe north of Caucasus, have done very, very massive migrations in the early Bronze Age into the steppe and from there spread into northeast Europe where they mixed with the Neolithic farmers of the area to become the to, and created this corded ware culture. Now what it seems is that from this corded ware, a population started migrating east and they became the Sintasta population uh, that we are right now here excavating, uh, that Emma Usmanova and her team are, are excavating uh, Kurgans from the Sintasta culture. What we have started is a uh, very important collaboration that in between the University of Copenhagen Center for Geogenetics, where I'm from, with the universities in Aktau, Almaty, Pavlodar, Kostanay, Karaganda, Astana, uh, to study not only the past human migrations, but also the domestication of the horse. And all of this archaeological material that has been excavated for decades in Kazakhstan is extremely important. So we are very, very privileged that we are able to collaborate with all these uh, fantastic scientists and amazing collections that they have.